What's up, YouTube? The Purple Masher. Um, I'm doing a vlog today about arcade sticks. And I... Well, when the King of Fighters 13 comes out in October, I need to get a PS3 first. But I want to get a stick also. And last night, I was thinking, like, a lot of people... Like a lot of people use Mad Cats and a lot of people use Hori. And I looked at some Hori sticks last night. I went on the website, went on Hori. And uh I was checking out the um what is it called? The I think it's called the Hori Hori Real Arcade Pro V three, I think, with the A button layout or whatever. I was checking that out, and it looked pretty, looked pretty sweet. Um, um, there are a little, uh, there are like a little bit of things I have about pet peeves, about sticks. Like, um, I don't know if all sticks are like this. They probably are, but for the most part, like when I buy a stick, I'd like for the stick not to have assigned buttons already like I don't like like if the buttons are assigned already I don't think that's really cool I mean if it's an arcade fighter you shouldn't like assign buttons according to a certain fighting game or whatever I don't think that's cool because I mean if you buy an arcade stick you probably play fighting games in general so I mean because me, I, I like the King of Fighters and um, I want a stick, but the King of Fighters has four buttons. And now, people who may think this is weird, I'd, I'd like to have an eight button layout stick, arcade stick. And the reason why I say that is because I know for all the normals, the four normals, Light punch, light kick, strong punch, strong kick. There's four buttons. But in other KOF games, or whatever, if another KOF game was released and it had a certain feature on it or whatever, in the future, in the near future, and uh, I only have eight buttons, I mean four, I bet I only have four buttons on my stick. I'm pressing two buttons... Some things isn't, it's not really cool or whatever, especially when you have extra buttons, extra buttons on the stick you can assign things to. Um, I just, I just think that, um, sticks, when you buy a stick, it should just have, you should get as many buttons as you want, because I want eight or whatever, but, um, the button shouldn't be assigned, like, it shouldn't already have on the stick. Uh, square, triangle, X, circle, L1, R1, R2. It shouldn't have that. Because I think, like, if the buttons don't feel right to you, I mean, you bought it. But since, if the buttons don't feel right to you, you should be able to switch, like, like the buttons or whatever, according to your liking. But, um, yeah, that's, like, one of my pet peeves. But, um, getting to mainly about Hori, um, what, if you use arcade sticks, like, comment on this video and tell me what is the main difference. What is the difference between Hori and, uh, Mad Cats. Mad Cat TE sticks and, um, the Hori. I think the latest, the latest model they had competing with the TE stick was one for the 360. It was one for exclusive for, for the 360. But I was just looking at that one because they were competing with the TE stick, but... I want the um the arcade pro v three because that's p p s three exclusive so I want that one but what is the main difference between Hori and mad cats because the last stick I had was for playstation two and it's sitting right over there in the corner it's a little dirty but um yeah the last stick I had was a pelican stick pelican arcade stick and uh it's the some people say the buttons are stiff for the um the Hori 
and I think they mean like I think they mean like the buttons are like kind of I'm gonna say hard to press down. I guess that's the only way you can explain it. But but um if you look at my stick right here, it's an old stick PlayStation Two I got whatever. It broke. I tried to fix it, but it didn't work. But I guess I'm gonna push it down. Um. I guess um the stick like the buttons or whatever I guess they would probably be hard to press for horror. I don't know. I don't play I haven't had a horror stick. I haven't had I think I had a Mad Cat's pad before, like back in the day for Xbox. And I think it broke, so I didn't really use Mad Cats after that. Or whatever. But I think I had a Mad Cat's pad before. But um This is an old stick made by Pelican. And get the logo right there. Maybe I Pelican or whatever. And uh I just wanna know, like, what is the difference between Mad Cats and Horror? And yeah, this one has assigned buttons. I mean I don't really like assigned buttons, but it has assigned buttons. And I think the uh the horror stick, the one I was looking at, the um arcade V three, the buttons are like th this one too, exactly kinda. Except for like some of the PS3 exclusive buttons, but um, yeah, that stick's gone. I tried to work on it, it's gone. But um, yeah, like, what is the difference for fighting game players? What is the difference between Hori and Mad Cats? Why do you prefer Mad Cats over Hori or Hori over Mad Cats? Please, like, I want to know because. I might get hoary anyway, but I just want to know like, what's the difference. And uh, is it is it possible to customize a stick after you've already bought it from a company? Like if, like let's say I bought a hoary stick, and uh, I wanted to get customized art on it afterwards. I bought it. Is that possible? Because I want to know. Um, give a couple of shout outs. Shout outs to Vast Sixteen XLI. Shout outs to Yagami Seven Eighty One on YouTube. Um, he has a YouTube page about fighting games, SNK fighting games. Look it up. Shout out to TKK, free one up, all the fighting game players. Y'all get back at me.